Your nine pillars changed everything about our presentation. We put together a huge presentation to present to 30 different buyers. And once we discovered Tim's nine pillars, we thought, man, we have this all wrong. So we completely scrapped our entire presentation, started from scratch. We built the whole thing around the nine pillars and we blew every single buyer out of the water. They all said it's the best presentation they've ever had from a sales pitch. So awesome. thank you so much for that. Are you meeting with a retail buyer shortly? And are you planning to present to them your innovative food product and or CPG item? If you are, I've got nine points that should be included in your presentation. The most successful brands in the world use this. There's no reason, regardless of the size of your company, that you can't do the same. Let me walk through my nine points. I call them the nine pillars for food company success. And I'm going to share these insights with you. I've shared this for years, share it with my clients and in interviews. And I want to share it now. I'm Tim. TimForest.com. I've been helping food companies grow for decades. They grow by thousands of locations and millions of dollars in sales. And these, this quick video is going to walk you through nine points that you should be sharing with your food buyers and CPG buyers uh, for retail, for pre-tail projects uh, going forward. There's just three buckets of, of data that they're looking for. They're going to look for information on the, your consumers, look for information on your product, and they're going to look for retail information of, of what you're doing with other retailers so that they can understand. And let's jump into what the information is they're looking for in those three different categories. So the first one, in the category of consumers, they want to understand that your product and your brand is consumer centric. So you want to demonstrate anything that you have, any experience that you have working with consumers and share with them in numbers and in, in where your focus, what are the attributes of your product? How are they focused on your ideal consumer? Next one, they want to understand that you're connected. They want to see how you're connected. So if you've been direct to consumer, now you're going to retail, they want to understand how it is that you're connected, what it is that you're doing for them and uh, how, how widespread your product is and then uh, what, what's working out for them. Then also you want to share insights. So who is this, what is this avatar? that is your consumer. What is the purpose? What is it there uh, when they purchase your product? How does it resonate with their life? How does it work within their lifestyle? Is there seasonality of the product? Just anything that you can provide uh, insights on your consumer base. You want to be able to do that. You need to be able to offer some insights here. Uh, you think this may not be important for you. The biggest guys in your category, the largest brands are doing this every day. They're bringing this data to them. They're informing your buyers and they're going to expect you to inform them on your product as well. The next category we're going to talk about is the product. So there's three basics uh, that you want to uh, work with on the product. They want to understand how is your product innovative? What is the brand strength? And then um, how are you creatively executing against your avatar? So they're going to be thinking about, we just talked about your, your consumers and shoppers. Now they're going to want to understand how that product relates and connects with them. And so when I share innovative as a two part test, you want to share it's innovative. So it's offering value. That's not in the category. The second piece of that is the un that the buyer wants to understand that there is a segment of their shoppers that understand they have that problem or they have that need and they're willing to purchase it. So you need to demonstrate it's innovative. It's, it's an unmet, uh, meets an unmet need. And uh, the litmus test of that is that there are shoppers that are willing, that understand they have that problem and they're willing to pay for that. Regarding your brand strength, you want to demonstrate that uh, the strength of your brand and that you will, you'll do well and perform uh, within the category. So how can you alleviate any concerns they have that you're going to be able to compete with the Goliaths in the category, compete with other places? The way you do that is you show success uh, in other locations and you bring that uh, to bear here uh, in your presentation. Just show where people are rebuying the product, demonstrate the success that you've had, the numbers that you're doing. I like to show uh, tremendous success in other locations so that we can alleviate or take away some of the concerns and some of the some of the uh, risk associated with uh, bringing new product into this uh, to the set. Also, they're looking for creative execution. So how are you marketing? How, what are you doing uh, online? What are you doing with uh, any type of uh, marketing activity that is unusual and innovative and speaks to your target market? And the last piece in your presentation 
you need to bring to them retailer insights. And so a large retailer, if you're watching this video, you're probably preparing for a large uh, retailer opportunity. Um, and if you're doing that, if this is your first opportunity, it's a lot easier than if you're going after a much larger account, say um, a top a top retailer uh, in the category, top in your market, uh, top nationally, top national retailer. So the uh, retail buyers are looking for three things, three basic uh, groups of information uh, in the category. They're looking for retailer insights. They're looking for uh, how you're gonna help drive traffic not only to the category, but also to the store. So they're actually looking for retail retail suppliers that are gonna uh, partner with them and uh, drive traffic to their stores along with a business case. And so what am I talking about with a business case? A business case, they wanna understand what are the dollars are you gonna generate for them? What, are, what new dollars are you gonna bring to the category? And that's important. They're not interested in trading dollars. They wanna understand that you're gonna bring new, new shoppers, new consumers, a new people to the category and to the stores and then what that looks like financially so you want to demonstrate share with them an opportunity a business opportunity for them of what their sales are going to be uh, in their stores and so you need to bring to them uh, numbers from other stores expected numbers from their stores and go uh, forward there hope this uh, quick quick video on my nine pillars the nine points of a sales presentation for retail buyers is helpful have any questions or comments, send me a note at Tim at TimForrest.com. If you have an innovative product, I would love to talk to you, uh, learn more about uh, your growth plans. Jump on my calendar at TimForrestMarkets.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.